All right, it's time to learn something new. I, I doubt you learned this in college because I didn't. But let's draw, I'll talk about some motors today. So we're going to have a four-pole motor. What the hell is that exactly? I don't know. There's this thing called four poles, and it's in a motor. What are these? These are like north and south poles. So maybe I have the orientation wrong. But inside the motor, we have these uh, magnets that induce a magnetic field, which gets this thing in the middle called a rotor. And the thing out here is called the stator. Um, and basically, the magnetic field uh, changes in such a way that causes the rotor to spin and gets your output of whatever speed you need. Who cares, right? Um, I care. No, I don't care. I don't know. You guys care. You guys are taking this exam. But no, what it's trying to say is that the, uh, the speed of the motor is going to be given by 120 F p that's all i'm gonna say fp so it's gonna say uh f is the frequency of the input voltage which is what we're given where it's usually it's a three phase input um that three phase is needed for those inductors in the in the motor to create that changing magnetic field and cause the rotor to rotate um i realize there's a division sign here sorry about that um and then the P are the number of poles in the motor. Here we're given that P equals 4. So let's just write those things down. So 4 and then F is in hertz, uh, which is fine for this equation. Uh, 120 is just a fancy thing that comes out of the derivation of the formula, blah, 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 blah. So we're going to solve for the rotational speed of the motor or rotor, uh, which is going to be 120 times 60 divided by 4 uh, that should be 30 that should be 180 no 1800 I almost did it again where I messed up the calculation and that's going to be the uh, rotation of the motor uh, synchronous speed I should say of the motor uh, meaning this is like uh, the frequency or the rotation of the rotor if it were possible to match the stator um, which is 1800 RPM. So this is like no load on the rotor shaft. But they also give us one thing. There is 0 0.09 or 9% slip, meaning that although in theory you could get 1800 RPM given the voltage frequency and the number of poles of your motor, it doesn't mean you're gonna get that 1800 out from the rotating shaft. Um, so, it's basically an efficiency uh, or a deficiency of the motor, if, that, if that's possible to say. So we're going to call, I don't know, uh, a slip S uh, is 0 0.09. So this is very simple. So this is the ideal scenario minus or the synchronous speed of the, of the motor. Uh, and we're trying to find the actual speed of the rotor. Uh, so let's say uh, N minus na na is for the actual like what you're actually gonna see over the uh synchronous speed which is n and then this is gonna be your slip i mean that should make sense it's more of like the the percent loss of the motor in terms of speed so you think of this as your uh error so to speak you take your true value or you take your predictive value minus your true value divided by the true value and see how far you're off from the true value that's pretty much that um so if you do some algebra here you can get sn uh minus n but then you do this and that should give you your na um so you just solve that so n is 1800 so we can pull that out uh and then it's gonna be one minus S, which is 0 0.09. And that will be roughly 91% of 1800. That's another way to look at it. So you're basically getting 91% efficiency out of your motor. That I think that's the best way to explain it. And your actual speed coming out of the motor given these inputs is going to be 1638 uh, RPM. Hopefully I explained that well enough. If you're confused, let me know. But I'm pretty sure I, uh, I explained it decently to get you through this exam. Um, I'm no way an expert, and you shouldn't be watching these videos for advice. So uh, see you guys later.